Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from Coniston Water and Pier Cottage in the Lake District. So let's go and take a look. So we're heading here from the car park in the centre of Coniston down to Pier Cottage caravan site. make a right hand turn now into Pier Cottage's drive. It's worth checking the tracks clear before heading down because it's a wide enough track for one vehicle but probably quite difficult to pass. arrival at the site we checked in at the office and it had our details in the window which was really handy. Just behind the office was a waste and recycling centre. Just to the right of that was a couple of LSAN points. The facilities were fairly basic, clean but more than adequate for the size of the site. The site's fairly small, I reckon there'd be probably 20 odd pitches on the site and uh, we just uh, took a walk around the site here just to give you a little bit of a view. So quite a lot of the pitches have a lake view as you can see some of these around the edge and then there's a few in the middle bit there that uh, you can still see some of the lake but uh, aren't right on the side of the lake. And uh, from all of the pitches you can get access down to the um, shore side here. There's some handy benches and picnic tables if you fancy eating your lunch or your dinner down by the side of the lake if you're not uh, on the edge of the lake in your van. This gives you an idea of the view from the shore side of Pier Cottage Caravan site. This is Pier Cottage itself and here's a little bit of a view round looking down the pier. The launches are moored up here when they're not in use in the main part of uh, Coniston so it's nice to actually see them all. The rebuilt steam yacht gondola is also moored here at the moment and you can take a cruise round the lake on it which is said to be a magnificent experience. It wasn't sailing when we were there but it was great to have a look at it anyway. You can find more details on the National Trust's website or following the link in the description. Give you a view now from the pier looking round up Coniston Water. If you go to the site it's definitely worth a stroll down the pier at the site to have a look at the view. You can see the old uh, winch as well that was used to launch Bluebird and then here's a couple more pitches uh, around the site, uh, this one overlooking uh, the gondola. And just before we finish our site tour, let's just have a quick another look at the shore side and then back up across the site. So we're just going to pop into Coniston to take a look around. So let's go and have a look. As you head out the site, you cross a bridge and you can head along a lakeside path in the direction of Coniston Village. You can also pop up the track we drove in on at the beginning as well if you want to walk up that way, but we chose to go along the lakeside. And then you come to the Bluebird Cafe and the main pier where you can catch the launch from. You can get various snacks, coffee, cake and some meals at the Bluebird Cafe. There's a place just near the Bluebird Cafe, as you can see here, where you can hire electric boats, which you can see more there on the pier, and also the water sporting equipment. And I believe they also hire bikes as well. You can just see back down the path there, the way we've come. 
There's various information boards around that give information on Coniston's history and past. There's also a car park near the Bluebird Cafe. Standard charge seems to be £3 for a couple of hours uh, in most of the car parks around Coniston at the point when we visited in March 22. You can see the track there up from the shore side heading in the direction of Coniston which just follows this beck on the left hand side and then just follows along the side of the road at this point. When you get about halfway up the road you come to uh, this footbridge. If you cross the footbridge that then takes you to a small selection of outlet stores and this is called Lake Road Estate in Coniston with a selection of stores. Let's just take a quick look at those now. There's an information plaque on the way into it which shows what's, what stores are available in. You can park there free of charge if you are visiting the shops in that particular place. When you come out of Lake Road Estate, you then head down the road on the footpath on the right hand side and you'll see in the distance the school and Coniston village coming into sight as you wander down the road. You pass a children's play area on the right uh, just before you come into the main bit of Coniston and then you'll come out where there's a fish and chip shop on the left and that takes you onto the main road through Coniston and if you head right towards the garage. So we've just passed the filling station um, for petrol and diesel uh, which is just on the right on the way in and um, we're just going to head over the bridge and then we're in the centre part of Coniston. You can see the Udale Inn in front, the Black Bull Inn just round to the left there and the Crown Inn kind of straight ahead. So let's have a wander up this way first of all. Uh, we just give you a bit of a view of the Black Bull Rachel and I and Roxy had a meal and a couple of drinks, albeit Roxy abstained from the meal and the drinks in the Black Bull on the night before. And uh, there's a quick look. There was a few people sitting outside as well, which was nice to see. And uh, just the scenery surrounding it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Quick view of the menu at the Udale there. The Cooperative Village Star is a bottle and brewed various uh, shops where you can get uh, gifts and things like that if you want to take something back for your friends and family. Um, just up here is the Ruskin Museum, um, which is the museum in Coniston, and uh, we'll just take a quick look around here and then we'll head back down the other way and take a look across there. It's a fairly small village, uh, but it does have um, plenty of facilities and um, that sort of thing. See the museum down that way. Just take a quick look at the, at the mountains there. There's also the Herdwick's Cafe, a library and the village hall. Like most of the lakes, a lot of the places don't open until 10 in the morning and typically close around 4, 4.30 p.m., things like museums and that sort of thing. So it's normally a 10 o'clock start if you're wanting to look around those kind of venues. Quick look before we head the other way. So we're just going to head now down in the direction of Hawkshead. So it was straight on as we came over the uh, bridge there and we'll just head down this direction towards Crowning. There's the Church of St Andrew in the centre of Coniston. We'll head down towards the car park. So just stood outside the Crown now, we'll just take a quick look back where we've come. There's another little premier shop there, Hutchinson's, and there's the church again. This is the back of the uh, Crown Inn. There's a car park just opposite. Uh, the current pricing's 
three pounds for two hours and uh, yesterday we parked up here and grabbed a pasty for for lunch just while we waited so we were just slightly early about half an hour early for the campsite and uh, bumped into in the car park um, a couple of uh, people who watched the channel which uh, was brilliant uh, very unexpected in the middle of Coniston but uh, the chap recognised me so that was brilliant I stupidly didn't ask his name as well, I uh, should have done, so apologies, but a big shout out there. Quick look around at the shop there, it's the place got the pasty from yesterday. Quick look around before we move on. We just head back now through Coniston Village, back towards the way we came, towards the garage and the bridge. Quick look at the church. So we're back at the corner now and we're going to head back the way we came towards the campsite. We could of course gone the other way and then headed back down the track we went into the campsite but we decided to go back this way. So we'll head now back down towards the pier and the Bluebird Cafe. There's a CL called Beckthwaite on the way back down towards the lake. We'll finish the walk where we started, just near Pier Cottage Caravan Park. Quick look at the shore on the evening of uh, Coniston Water before we head back to the uh, van. So we decided to take a trip around the lake on the Coniston launch, uh, which was uh, really nice. This was the base for the Campbells and Bluebird when they were on the lake, trying to break world water speed records. You can see the metal slipway to this side of the jetty. That's the original one that was used to launch Bluebird K7 for the last time on the 4th of January 1967. Donald Campbell had already broken four world speed records on this lake. On that day he set off to break his own record, 276 miles an hour. He was trying to go over 300 miles an hour that day when sadly he crashed coming back up the lake towards us on his second leg. You can see some of the caravans, camper vans and motorhomes at Pier Cottage Caravan Park along the side of the lake. As you'll have heard when we're on the launch there, uh, Coniston's also famous for the Bluebird and Donald Campbell and his water speed record attempt. And while we were there, we watched Across the Lake, which is a film from the 80s with Anthony Hopkins starring as Donald Campbell in. And it was quite surreal looking out of the window and seeing Pear Cottage, which was in the film uh, at the same time. There are a number of plaques and memorials commemorating Bluebird and Donald Campbell around Coniston to explore. While we were there, we also visited the Lakeland Motor Museum, which has a specific uh, building which covers off the uh, Bluebird, which is interesting to look around. You can see a replica of the K7 in the museum here, which is the jet hydroplane Bluebird K7, uh, which uh, Donald Campbell famously sailed and sadly crashed, costing him his life. So there we go, there's a look around Pier Cottage campsite on Coniston Water. So what did you think of the site, Rachel? I really enjoyed it for what it lacked in facilities, because some of the facilities, I'll be honest, are quite basic. Um, in the ladies, there was one shower two toilets and a couple of sinks. It actually, what it lacks in the facilities, it makes up for in its location um, and its uniqueness. So each of the pictures are different. The majority have got access to the lake, short walk into Coniston. Beautiful, really, really nice. I enjoyed it. What about you? So I think it's a lovely site. Uh, unfortunately, we were on a pitch just in the middle of it. You could still see the lake across, but some of these outer pitches, if you get a view, um, just round there but some of the outer pitches there will be absolutely brilliant uh, if you got one of those and I think because we were there for just one night 
uh, we were just in the middle, but uh, there I'm just going to swing around a little bit. There was a lot of people broke canoes with them as well, weren't there? We're looking down there, uh, Coniston Water there. There you go. Look at that for a view. Brilliant, isn't it? Now, you can't knock that. So I think it's been a fantastic sight and definitely come back. So don't forget to join us next time when we're coming from Kendal. And if you are interested in coming to Pier Cottage Caravan Park, what I did notice this morning was a lot of people were queuing to book when they came back next time. And in fact, probably 80% of the people that I saw were actually doing that. So um, it's probably one that's quite difficult to get into, but definitely worth it. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. You take care and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.